still terrible. That I mean, completely unwatchable. Terribly completely awesome. Unwatchable. That was perfect. Lost, lost All right, too. guys. This is it. The final episode of Reginald J. Gauntlet Jr. Season 2, or as it will be known from now on, the prequel to Gauntlet Season 3. As you know, we have five contestants left. Only one can go home with the coveted Gauntlet Trophy and the $10,000 to donate to the charity of their choice. Somebody's gonna win, somebody's gonna lose, everybody's gonna be excited. Let's do this! The Gauntlet! Wait, why the f are we in the trash heap? You rented the entire theater. It's where the Rooster Teeth team was, they did pretty well, so it's kind of a good vibe. It smells like espresso and sadness. A lot of people out there mystified at how Greg Miller, the biggest PlayStation gamer on the planet, could win an Unreal Tournament on the PC. And the answer, of course, is camping. You can't stop Greg Miller, you can only hope to contain him. It's a legitimate strategy. And that was the problem people ran into. What the f*** is wrong with you?! When I win the gauntlet season two, I'm gonna donate the money to the Christopher and Dana Reeve Paralysis Foundation because that guy used to be Superman. Also, I like helping people once in a while. Just not people who play PC games. I am planning on donating the money to Save the Music. It's a charity that focuses on keeping music education in public schools and public education. I recently had an aunt that passed away to a rare type of ovarian cancer, and so I'm going to uh, make a donation in her name. In uh, New Mexico, Albuquerque, we've got uh, children's hospitals. The Susan G. Uh, Coleman Foundation for Breast Cancer. Well, gentlemen, for this round, we wanted to have an epic boss battle. Who would make the greatest boss to fight in this round? Bowser? I was talking to Joel. I don't know, I don't care. Yeah, well, we thought about it. None of us could come up with a bigger jackass than Hitler. You guys are gonna be playing Wolfenstein 3D. Uh, the last time I played Wolfenstein was never, so. This game came out three years before I was born. I, I think I'm the only person who was even remotely alive in the area of when Wolfenstein came out. Now, granted, I wasn't fully alive, I don't think. I wasn't, I mean, I'm still young here, ladies. <laughs> Call me. But these Rooster Teeth community kids, I mean, they are literally kids. I'm pretty sure some of them can't even drive yet. It's been forever since I've played Wolfenstein, but literally forever. Hitler is one of the most intimidating bosses of my childhood. I do know who Hitler is. I'm going for my history degree, so. The first two contestants that kill Hitler advance to the final round. Please take your stations. Get ready to live the dream of every time traveler ever. You're about to kill Hitler in one, two. Oops. Oh, right, right. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, sir. Yeah, go. go. Yay, Wolfenstein! Go. All right, everyone instantly rushes into Hitler's chambers to find him. I don't see him. Where is he? In Wolfenstein, it's extremely important to keep moving, shooting at Hitler in small bursts. Stay in front of him too long, and it'll kill you immediately. Oh my gosh. And before you can kill him, you must shoot off oh his gosh. mechanized robot suit, much like the real Hitler. Oh my gosh. Greg, chip away at it. Well, no sh chip away at it. Chill out, relax. You guys want to know what it's like to be winners and have all the pressure on you. You shut your damn mouth. You hit the corner the whole time. Shut up, Greg. Shut your mouth. So far, Corey is the only one who hasn't died yet. He's already got some good shots. Can he keep this up? Oh my gosh. And Jaden is killed. There goes Elon. There goes Greg again. Wow. I, Corey's got Hitler's armor off, but he's low on health and ammo. He makes a retreat to restock on supplies. There he goes. He's got both ammo and health. He's back in it. Corey's making his final charge. Will it be him or the Fuhrer? Killed him! Yes! Corey is the first into the finals. Four contestants are left, but only one oh spot gosh. remains. Oh my, I hate you, Hitler. Oh my god. You're a jerk. You guys are doing worse than the French. No, seriously, you suck though. Bunch of sour grapes in the audience. Oh my god. Oh 
huh? Things are heating up. Elon and Greg have both discovered the right tactic, and that's to run and gun. It seems to be working for them. Oh, but Stan and Jaden are both coming at Hitler head first. It's clear now that this is between Elon and Greg, but who loves Hitler the least? I'm dying! Oh my god. Somebody's got a knife. Ran out of ammo. Elon has taken down Hitler's armor. Greg's taken down Hitler's armor. This is close. It's more of like a shock than anything, but once it sinks in, it's just like, we did it. Well, lost. <sighs> Pretty disappointed. I was more focused on being the best celebrity, the best internet personality, that once I achieved that milestone, it was kind of like, F off everybody, don't care anymore. I was looking at Jaden's screen, and so I saw him dying, so I was like, man, maybe I should start dying more, because maybe that's the strategy, is to die a lot. Yeah, and Wolfenstein 3D turns out nowhere to camp against Hitler. Can't believe it. I'm here. This is it. Next for me is a lot of drugs. Big old pile of drugs. Me, Freddie Wong. Justine's probably too good for it. Adam's not. He'll be right down on it. Just a fucking pile of coke. I hope it's me. I really do. I am ready to win. Depending on what this last game is, I'm hoping, hoping that it's in my favor. Congratulations. I'll be out there in fucking sports car boats, models on each arm, a better dog than whatever the piece of dog that they took away from me. Say goodbye. Could we have our finalists to the stage, please? And there they are, Corey and Elon. Gentlemen, you fought your way through thousands of gamers at RTX. You competed in multiple rounds against people far more interesting than either of you. You had to suffer in silence under the raw sexual charisma of two handsome co-hosts. The one. It's all come down to this. Final round, Gauntlet Season 2, $10,000 to the charity of your choice is on the line. What game do you think we'll be playing? Why Tetris? No, that's just that's we the TV that. we, we used last, last season. Why no. Would we, why would we, we just didn't unplug it this entire time. You think we played the same game two seasons in a row? No, Joel, when we were determining what game to play for the final round of Gauntlet Season 2, we only had two requirements we were looking for. Diving and kicking. Which ruled out Monopoly. It did. So we settled on, on dive kick. I kick! The first person to get seven points will win. Gentlemen, you have five minutes to urinate. Fine. You can, yeah. Nope, no, there. no, no jokes. Those are for us. When I saw Tetris on that screen, I had the biggest smile on my face. I absolutely was hoping it would be Tetris again. A little bit of nervousness, because Dive Kick, I've barely played it. Uh, my strategy is to play completely based on reactions. I'm going to wait for Corey to make the first move. If I succeed, I want to donate the 10000 to the Susan G. Komen Foundation in the name of my Aunt Cindy Assad. I'm here to play for raising awareness to music education, because it's something that impacted me quite a bit. Before the game started, each of the contestants had an opportunity to look up strategy and rules on the Droid Max phones. Now, there are only two buttons in Dive Kick, Dive and Kick. Land a single blow in Dive Kick and the match is over. If you score a headshot, your opponent will have reduced jumping in the next round. Fill your kick factor meter by kicking over time to receive a temporary speed boost. And if time runs out, the player closest to the red line wins the round. It takes seven matches to win. May the best contestant win. I said win twice. All right, gentlemen, this is it. This is the final round of Gauntlet Season 2 Dive Kick. Everything comes down to this. One game, $10,000 to the charity of your choice is on the line. Good luck. Begin in three, two, one, begin. Now they are selecting the color of their outfits. Corey gives in the peer pressure and selects the purple jumpsuit. This from above. Round one, dive kick. 
takes the first round with a jumping kick. Round two, dive kick! <laughs> Elon takes the second round for a two to nothing lead. Round three, dive kick! <laughs> Nothing. Corey needs to take some rounds if he's gonna stay in this. Round four. Die kick. Ah. 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 Elon now leads four to nothing. Things are not looking good for Corey. Round five. Die kick. counters for his first win. He'll need three more to close the gap. Round six, die kick. <laughs> Elon promptly ends Corey's comeback. Corey, get off your knees. You're blowing the game. <laughs> Round seven, die kick. <laughs> And the timer runs out. Corey was closest in the center. He takes the round. Hey, nothing like winning on a bullshit technicality. Elon still leads five to two. Round eight. Die kick. And another headshot victory for Elon. Six to two. All right, it's match point for Elon. All he has to do is win this round, and he wins all of Gauntlet Season 2. I kick! And Elon has activated his super speed. Congratulations to Elon, you are the champion of Gauntlet Season 2, $10,000 to the Save the Music Foundation. How do you feel? I'm extremely excited, I couldn't be happier. I want to thank all my students watching at home. I want to thank my parents, everybody else that really disencouraged me to play video games. So, thank you. All right, well, Corey, you must be feeling really, really terrible just about now because you did not win. How terrible do you feel? Extremely terrible. Yeah, that's what we figured. Okay, well, I think it's time for the big moment. Joel, please present our new champion with the coveted Gauntlet Trophy. to Elon. All right, well, we want to thank you for watching season two of The Gauntlet. We want to thank our sponsor, Verizon, for providing us with the Droid Max phones and making the show possible. And we want to thank all of you for watching. We would also like to thank all of our contestants for coming out and competing. But most of all, we would like to thank our hosts. Oh, absolutely. And I think the most important thing is that I have the last line in the show. Yeah, not at all. But probably I do. Not really. Yes, definitely. The end. The gauntlet. Everyone is so awesome, and even though we might have got eliminated really quick, we still had a good time. When me and Elon shook hands on stage, we exchanged words of just simple, good job, man. Yeah, you too. That's all it takes is sportsmanship. I think it would have been a lot better if this was actually The Bachelor, which I thought this was going to be, and I'd be walking away with a husband instead of Gus. My favorite moment of the competition, what, what some of the other stuff that people have said. I really wanted the puppy, man. That puppy's so cute. Sitting there in Joel's arms, squirming around. Still smarter than Greg. I kind of wanted to see Greg win the competition, if only for the reason he'll take off his shirt again. I'm not, I really shouldn't even be here being interviewed. I guarantee you this, I'll be here next season. No, these other guys are gonna be here. 
They're gone. Congratulations, you beat me. I hope that, you know, when you're all delivering those pizzas for Papa John's or doing plumbing for your dad's appliance store or whatever the f it is you people do, I hope you really get to hang your hat on it. The guys on the team, they're so, they're so nice. Every one of them, they're all great guys. I'm definitely looking forward to what's gonna happen next. If you were rooting for me, I appreciate it. If you weren't, at least you watched. A big shout out for all of you, because we're like family. We are a community. They're all amazing people, and I'm really glad they were on my team. Remember the name of the guy who won the first season? <laughs> Neither do I. Nobody does. You know why? Doesn't matter. All that matters is who's hosting. If who's hosting? Boop. This is, uh, what is it?